Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51. Um, first round match between Gabias and Anton Aft. Um, Dwarves versus Orcs, a classic kind of matchup. Anton Aft has two babes, uh, which is a bizarre decision. I would have definitely gone for an uh, apple, but hey, who can say if it's good or bad? Pretty nice orc team. Plenty of guard mighties. Not that much guard actually. Three, four, five, six, six guard. And the dwarves have. Can't see while they're actually making the blocks. Pretty annoying. Only six guard as well, so. Yep, that's uh, and the dwarves of the higher TV team somehow. Pommer, strength up, loads of mighty blow, and loads of stand for. But yeah, lack of guard on the dwarves. This could be uh, this could be tricky for them if their mighty blow doesn't fire. There's f this, I mean, there's four mighty blow for the, for the orcs as well. It should be a, a banger's paradise. This, loads of mighty blow. Some AV9, some guard, some stand firm. Dirty player runner, lovely. No, yeah, to be fair, the dirty player sneaky git, there's not a lot of other options on it. On stunties. To be fair. It's a lot worse when, like, you know, somebody's got a Skaven lineman with Dirty player sneaky git or a rotter with dirty player sneaky git. But yeah, when it's a when it's a stunty, they've spent their double correctly. Well, arguably correctly. I prefer a leader snotling than a dirty player snotling, but hey. Yes, I'm not sure it's correct on an elf lineman. Though it is in Blood Bowl three. It's definitely correct on an elf lineman in Blood Bowl 3. But I'd go so far as to say definitely incorrect in Blood Bowl 2. Yeah, they are both pretty good teams. Not the best teams, you know, not the best dwarf team I've ever seen and not the best orc team I've ever seen either, but but pretty good. Oh, Surf. One of the very few non-stand firm players. Is he about to get surfed? We'll do an irrelevant block first before we find out. Without Mighty Blow, of course. Why would you hit with Mighty Blow? Gets the Surf, hopefully. I just don't know how you don't hit with Mighty Blow there, like, as if this guy matters here, hit him with Mighty Blow. <laughs> it's not rocket surgery. He's got to like, GFI away here though, because of the uh, troll slayer. There you go, beautiful, beautiful bit of justice. A beautiful bit of justice there for giving up that surf. I don't know whether that's correct, dog to the dog. I think this dwarf team is pretty far from great. But it's alright. It's good. It's a good team. It's, it's far from great. <laughs> Feels like he has to reroll. We might get the uh, troll slayer being served here, then eh? 
There's no guard there. He's got to, he's got to jam in here. I mean, if you, if this is a pal, then you can just punch there and uh, oh no, he's got to stand firm. Oh, uh, oh the stand firm probably probably protects him. To be fair, yeah, I think I think he's protected by the stand firm. I guess you can do it that way. Yeah. I mean that's risky in itself as well. This is all pretty risky by everybody there. Oh. I mean he still re-rolled it. <laughs> like he got the push and re-rolled it. So he wasn't happy about it. So yeah, it was a bit it was a bit risky and a bit crap. I hope Steve. He jams in and you go a little bit safer. Oof. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That was a bit, I mean, it's only a little bit ready, right? It's a 1 in 9 dodge, but it's still a bit. Oh, here we go, 1D, pal. Lovely. And another 1D. I, I think I prefer the dodge to the 1D there. Because even if you push him, like, you're still not getting anywhere. You know, you either follow and the, it, you've got two and one again, still making it, like you're still losing out in that trade, aren't you, two to one? Like these two great players stuck on one pretty shit player. So either you don't follow, but then he just pushes, oh, he's got to stand firm, so you can just not follow. Yeah, well, that's just, that's just a terrible fucking follow then, isn't it? Just a fucking horrible follow there. Terrible, unimaginably bad follow there. Zero out of ten follow. <laughs> I was thinking, you know, if you just push him, he'll just punch this guy and then he'll get back two on one, but he had to stand firm, so you, you can't follow there. Oh, wow. Makes the dodge and the GFI. Oh no, it does an extra one for no reason. Obviously scared of the uh, the dwarf five plusing in. To uphill the blodger. Thought that was a a concern, so he had the GFI again. I guess there's only three turns left, so it's not that bad. I can't hear you, Calcium. Oh, that's pretty sad. Sad. Oh, I can hear. You're really quiet, Calcium. You're like unbelievably quiet. Yeah, but I can hear. Let me see if I can do something my end about my settings. Then maybe I can turn myself up. Glorious. Oh, now I know what I can do. I can actually move the microphone close to myself. That would help. Oh, it? baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been a while, Jim. It's been a while. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, talking to the microphone, Calcium, and that'll help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That that will honestly. Um, it's, oh god, Jim, it's great to speak to you again. It's been a couple of months, isn't it? It's Hasn't been a while. It? Yeah, it's been ages. Amazing, amazing to have you on again. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Hello. I have no idea what this game is or what's going on. To be fair, but you know, I thought I'd come and say hello. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. Neither do I. <laughs> uh, I hope you had a good Christmas, mate. Um, yeah, I've just. Do you know what, mate? I've had so much going on in real life. I literally haven't had time to play computer games. <laughs> <laughs> and what a tragedy that is, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I know. Um, but hope come the new year. Obviously, everybody's looking forward to Blood Bowl 3. So, you know, be all over that. The same as the rest of us addicts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> wow, Scooter! Scooter is here. Pops up. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I, think I'm, I think I'm still banned from the SFL, to be fair, <laughs> after my <laughs> inglorious demise there. But I, do you know what? I just couldn't cope with another game of Blood Bowl at that point. I was just like, I, for my own sanity, I've got to get out. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> and, and thankfully, the SFL is the kind of group that really understands that sometimes you just got to pull the plug, in not you? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dear. Uh, and uh, hello, Necro Infants. <laughs> it's, uh, it's going okay, yeah. I mean, there's something happened. Oh, yeah, there was there was a cage in the middle of the screen, in the middle of the field, and the dwarves somehow didn't make any attempt to defend against it. I don't know if they dub skulled or something, but they didn't get vaguely in the way, did they? That was pretty terrible. The dwarves have not played a great half of Blood Bowl here, have they? Between giving the surf up and getting locked. You know, sort of getting outmanned by a higher strength, you know, um, team is pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. It's not great. No, it was, just, it was always going to be tricky, right? Because they, they, they're not outguarding the Orcs and they are being outstrengthed by the Orcs. So it's, I mean, that's tricky, isn't it? Uh, dwarves going down, sort of down in numbers to Orcs is just terrible, isn't it? Yeah. So that surf was unnecessary and quite pivotal really and it, uh, of course then it drew dwarves over to the wrong side of the pitch didn't it so yeah i think that was i think it was i think it was you know a little bit of bad luck and a, you know a bit of a tough matchup but also shit play <laughs> yeah you know generally generally it's it's a factor of different things isn't it you know again you know not what we'd have done who's to say if it's right or wrong <laughs> We'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was only joking with it. Only joking with a shit player, by the way, just in case anyone doesn't realise. But uh, yeah, I think I think you know I think he could have played it a bit better, right? Yeah. The good news is there's another half of Blood Bowl to go, so anything can happen. I I take it this is the Orcs' drive. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you know it's not the end of the world, is it? It's not the end of the world as we know it. Do you remember that song, Calcium? I, I, REM. I very much remember that song. Great mm. song. I nearly, I nearly chimed in with, uh, but I feel fine at the end of it. Jim. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. I wish I could. I wish I could sing. I'm a professional singer again now, Jim. I only sing if I get paid. So, Fair enough. Uh, you know, um, but. <laughs> we just did um so one of the reasons why i've been so busy in real life is uh i basically or me and a bunch of mates have reformed a covers band uh rock covers band and we decided to do a charity gig in on the 19th uh, sorry the 16th of december down in weymouth um and we had a raffle arranged it's, it it was one of these things that we thought oh you know we'll get a few mates around we'll do a bit of a charity gig raise a few quid and it snowballed like <laughs> massively and we ended up raising well over three thousand pounds for two charities, uh, mm -hmm. being Young Minds and a charity called Gully's Place, that is a local charity in Dorset. So basically, we raised over three grand and split it down the middle. Um, and yeah, it was it was a really really cool night um, in a local club in Weymouth. We had nearly two hundred people bouncing mm -hmm. in front of us. So uh, it was yeah a top night a top night so yeah another reason why i've been sort of afk <laughs> it took it took quite a lot of arranging and we'd only reformed in august um so we had to get a full set of well near on 30 songs together you know um mm -hmm. 30 covers obviously and um yeah it's been a lot of work but it was really really good fun so glorious <laughs> Well, it's great that everything's going well for you in real life and stuff, even if you're denying us you your, uh, yeah. your... I know, I know, mate. I'm, I'm, do you know what? I always said that um, I, I was going to take a couple of months out. Do you know what? Between um, the Andy tabletop experience and just Blood Bowl in general, you know, because we've all been at it more or less non-stop for, what, six, seven years now since Blood Bowl 2 was released? Mm -hmm. It's a long time, in it? I know we've had periods where we've taken time off but i just needed to absolutely detach from it because yeah the the tabletop experience just blew it apart for me i'm like oh, 
I, I just can't. <laughs> um, and that's nothing against Andy. You know, it was a well-run tournament. Um, I just I can't handle the beardness of it. You know, um, it, it was just way too... We've had this discussion anyway a couple of months back. It was just way too yeah. big for me. So, you know, and that's fine. If people want to play like that, then who are we to stop from playing like that? Play, play Blood Bowl whatever way is conducive to you having fun. You know, mm. that, that's the only real rule in Blood Bowl, isn't it? Yeah, fuck everyone else. Do what you want. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> Kill all men's. Yeah. Blood before bolt. Deal with it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bit of shirt copter thrown in there, Jim, and you were away, didn't we? <laughs> oh, God. Those were the days, weren't they? <laughs> oh, they were glorious, weren't they? Absolutely <laughs> glorious, mate. Honestly. I would... Do you know what? I... When I, I, oh, have you played Fumble since they've um, introduced the vertical pitch? I haven't, no, but I saw a screenshot of it. It looked wild. Yeah, I'm, I must try that. But I'm, whenever I go on Fumble now, because I dip in and out of Fumble on occasion, I don't play anything there really, but um, I do pine for those days, you know, when Stubman Dubro was just prolific when he was doing <laughs> the best thing on Fumble. He really and, was, yeah. Uh, um, you know, and. Uh, Obviously, we had um, you made a league, didn't you? Um, the Danger Zone League, or um, yeah, uh, yeah. And, uh, your tagline was "We're better than you." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, so good, so good. So nothing scary on the kickoff then. Um, Dwarves be happy with this, won't it? Get ready to grind. Yeah. Yeah, and you know the player they've lost is is one of the worst players, isn't it? So they don't really care about him in terms of, you know, the match. Like obviously it hurt for the drive, but as far as it goes, they've got they're back to eleven, their best eleven versus the Orcs' best eleven. Yeah, so. it just killed the drive, not the team, didn't it? it mm. You know, and I guess, oh hello, that's a nice little removal. Hmm. Again, just an LOS fodder, but nonetheless, puts the dwarves up on numbers. Num numbers are everything to dwarves and orcs, aren't they? Yeah. You start chipping away at dwarves and orc numbers, and they're, they're done. Because they just don't have the mobility. You know, they don't have a plan B. So... Yeah. Essentially, yeah. Yeah. Well, when you say essentially, it's not strictly true, is it? I'm just talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> you, would been, you would be in super nice then, because I could actually feel you going, no, Calcium is not strictly right. And, and you're right. What do I know? <laughs> no, no. They, they, <laughs> their plan B isn't great, right? Like, they, they've got, yeah, yeah. like, Dwarves particularly, they've, they've got two move six out of three players and two move five out of three players. So, like, they don't have much of a plan B at all. Orcs have yeah, got a bit yeah. more with four move six out of three, but they don't have much of a plan B either, you know? So, like, you know, it's, it's essentially correct. But, um, yeah. When I said no plan B, I should have said poor plan B, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, like like Nurgle are kind of almost worse than both of them, despite you know not really being slower than orcs and probably being faster than dwarves. It, but it feels like you know because I don't know, just because the way like the team worked with Nurgle, it just feels like Nurgle's plan B is worse than either of these two plans Bs. And oh, so... yeah, without a doubt. And I guess you could say the same with Chaos, can you? But their plan A is just so much fun. <laughs> oh, but I think Chaos have got a fantastic plan B. Like, that's the thing. I think that's the thing that sets apart Chaos. Because Chaos it's, have it's... seven, move six, edge three, you know, the all yeah, and strength yeah. four. Like, they've got yeah. fantastic, like, desperation plays. Um, is that also dependent on how they're built, though? Do you build a good plan B into Chaos? I mean, no. I I, <laughs> I don't build no, 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 a plan B, but fine. I don't think you need to. I just think like the base stats, the base stats are what give them that. You know, like kind of like humans have got a better plan B than orcs, right? Because they're just faster and everything, and yeah. And I think I think that just that natural speed of of chaos and responsiveness, as Dio loves to say, uh, the speed and responsiveness yeah. is just like more inbuilt into chaos. And the Warriors even, right? The Warriors are still move 5 and edge 3. Even yeah. the Warriors aren't totally unresponsive. Edge 3 
for Chaos Warriors is actually a little bit ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> Armour 9, edge free, you know, with that plate, you'd think they're, um, they're a, ad really, fluff wise, they probably should be less agile, shouldn't they? Fluff wise, you know? they should be edge 4 or edge 5. <laughs> <laughs> they're literally like in the game, they're like initiative 5 or whatever, like higher, higher than uh, high yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, Ooh. quad skulls. How'd you like them quads? Whoa. Well, that's pretty. Uh, that's that. That's a big. That's a big. Uh... Oh, it's been a while since I drank in someone else's quads, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> that's the great thing about commentary. You know? Oh, <laughs> rolling them yourself. It yeah. It's great when someone else rolls them. Oh yeah. wow! Oh, holy! <laughs> wow! It's a lot of uh, a lot of skulls. <laughs> yeah, one for everyone. Another one in nine. And it just ends the turn, doesn't even bother standing this guy up or, you know, making this a bit more interesting. Glorious. Interesting. No, I won't give in until oh my God. I'm victorious. <laughs> and he I rolls quad defend. skulls and then double skulls. And rolls him out of the chair. Oh, Jim, S-K-U-L-L, Jim, S-K-U-L-L, Jim, S-K-U-L-L. That is crazy. God, that's, that's fucking brutal, isn't it? Oh my god, this game, honestly. Yeah. Thank you very much, Risper Vispa, for staying fantastic for 13 glorious months. Ah, oh, yeah. Jim Skull. Ah, oh, yeah. And uh, there isn't a bracket command. There could be, but there isn't. Um, but I'll give you the link there. Calm PDX. There you go. Glad to see this is happening to a dwarf coach at least, yeah, for sure. Yeah, fuck dwarves. You can't have any sympathy for dwarves, can you? It's difficult, isn't it? It really <laughs> is difficult. Um, you know, purple chest, for instance, we all love purple chest, right? One of the nicest guys in Blood Bowl. But when he's playing dwarves, you just want him to die horribly, <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, PC. <laughs> there isn't an extra special command either, Jack Ball. But there was, there was a five glorious. idiots, a special edition no, of five idiots. It was glorious. Until I'm victorious. And Jay Bazza, how defend. you doing? Long time no I speak. I will defend. Jimmy and Calcium. Hope you're both doing yeah, no, well. Yeah, I'm going to be back in the new year. Um, I don't think I'll be streaming a lot, but I'll certainly be dipping a lot more into the mighty Team Fantastic commentary booth. Oh, um, yeah. It is without a doubt one of the best booths in the whole of Blood Bowl. Oh, yeah. Thanks very much, Carlson. And thank you very much, Jay Bazza, for staying fantastic for 11 glorious months. Legend. Um, Oh shit, the uh, the sound effects aren't on, sorry. Um, yeah, unbelievable. Nearly three cool beaver pregnancies, thank you very much. Blow him! Oh, I need the exclamation point! Blow him! Yeah, shit! Oh man, yeah, sound effects. There's probably been a bunch of sound effects uh, since I took my sort of uh, enforced break. Um, I'm really looking forward to catching up with what's going on. I take it there's been no massive dramas in the old Blood Bowl community since I've uh, dipped out? Um, I don't think so, no. No. No, nothing too exciting. I nearly made a really bad job then, but uh, luckily I didn't, so that was good, wasn't it? I was pretty fucking close to it. I was pretty close to just blurting out an absolutely horrendous statement there, but <laughs> luckily I didn't. <laughs> Unbelievable. You know, like how people say about, like, you know, think before you speak, and I never think before I speak, and I, ne I nearly did a really bad thing there, but luckily I did think before I spoke, so there you go. First time for everything. Yeah, Christopher, I guess the big drama will be coming in February. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, <clears throat> it'll be interesting to see how quickly the Blood Bowl community absolutely breaks the shit out of Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Because, like, the, it hasn't really been played a lot, like... Obviously, tabletop, nobody plays tabletop, do they? Like, you know, the amount of games is basically inconsequential to online. 
And then obviously they've been playing a little bit on Fumble, but even the Fumble numbers are nothing like Blood Bowl 2. So yeah, it'll be interesting when Blood Bowl 2 and uh, Blood Bowl 3 comes out for sure. I'm really, I'm really sort of behind the curve. Has there been any announcement with regards to seasons? Is it going to be sort of, um, you know, redrafts, or is it just going to be the same as Blood Bowl Two? They don't want redrafts because while they have to replicate Blood Bowl Three perfectly, that's only uh, things they want to do, and they don't want to do uh, redrafts. So there's not going to be redrafts. And um, so are we are we looking at a bunch of um, sort of 1700 plus monster dwarf teams then. <laughs> mm, I mean, it could be all well, orcs, I think, right? Because orcs yeah. just kind of shit on dwarves a bit, don't they? You know, like without redraft, then um, yeah. then you you just dwarves with the same amount of guard, but with four more plus strengths. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the, there's going to be like a season pass um, system to get new teams and. New, uh, new. Uh, what's the word for like things that look like things? Uh, you know. So, are they going to be like microtransactions with the season pass, or is it just going to be one big season pass? It's going to be like a tenner. It's going to be like a tenner for the season Aye. pass. And cosmetics, yeah. Thank you, cosmetics. Yeah. So like for that tenner you'll get like cosmetics and stuff if you okay. and and you can play it's about 50, 50, 50 games I think in a three month period to like unlock everything is what they said um, and then like so you don't obviously you don't unlock everything if you don't pay but you will unlock the team if you if you get to the end of the uh, pass. Christ, most people will hit that. You know, most Blood Bowl two streamers and you know the prolific Blood Bowl coaches will hit that in two or three days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Diddle will do it in like twenty four hours. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty games seems like nothing, does it? Like, okay, <laughs> challenge accepted. <laughs> <Yeah>. Nope. <laughs> So he didn't get the, he didn't get the surf because he's got stand firm, but also he didn't get to uh, he didn't get the knockdown either. But he's very much squeezed on the sideline there, isn't he? With one turn left, so this is looking almost certainly an orc win. Yeah, it's really bad, isn't it? Yeah. And the dead troll slayer, just the cherry on the cake of get fucked dwarves. Yeah, he got he got shot on by the dice this half, didn't he? Like, there's not much you can do against his quads, and then another dub skulls, and then a one on the GFI. And then a one on the GFI. Yeah, that was just like seven out of eight dice of ones. That's brutal, isn't it? You you, you ain't winning games of Blood Bowl, Ooh. no matter how. Good you are. One dice now. Oh, he doesn't get the push. Oh, he gets the skull. Wow. And a death. <laughs> well, if your team's gonna go out, let's go out in style, innit? Eh? Yeah. That was good though to get him in to make it a one D, wasn't it? So yeah, it wasn't red yeah. dice in a dodge. But um, yeah, that was that was pretty fucked. <laughs> do you know what? When Nuffle decides to bend you over and do what he wants with you, you just gotta hope he phones you a cab at the end of it. <laughs> oh dear. Wow. Yeah. Just a conceded game count as a game. No, it, it like they said, it would take about 50 games to do the thing, I think. I seem to remember reading 50 games. I'm really interested to... I'm, I'm going to play Chaos, um, because I'm really interested to see if I can make the Iron Hard skin work. Wow. Um, I, 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 I know it's... It's a pretty terrible skill, or tr you know whatever it is. But I'm I just I don't know. I I think fluff wise, it's really cool. It's a you know it's a really cool skill fluff wise. In reality, it's going to be absolutely awful. It's probably as bad as armbar or something like that, or what pile driver. You know, again that really really appeals to me. Pile driver. But you're not going to win many games if you use it, are you? No, not really, no. <laughs> I think I think it's funny because I think not only do I think obviously Claw Mighty's been nerfed and Pining on has been removed, but um I think plus A V will be quite good, right? Because uh, people will be fouling a lot more with Sneaky Git uh, being ridiculous now. 
and yeah. uh, so there'll be a lot more fouls and AV is only 10, 10 TV so I think the idea is you know you make your players that you want like you know you, you choose what you like because you choose skill ups so like if you say I want a dwarf team where everybody well dwarves yeah dwarves can get plus AV a dwarf team where everybody just has guard mighty blow stand firm then when they have eventually have to get a fourth skill I would just choose AV and then like you know it would be the same yeah. for like everyone like if, if my elf team would just be everybody with blodge when like you know say four guard or whatever after I've got my four guards then next one just make it plus AV you know and have AV 10 dark elf blitzers right with blodge guard it's actually a pretty fucking good player <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, anyway, right. Let's let's finish this up. Uh, commiserations to uh, Gabby Ass, who obviously got the dice the dice to buggery the second half. Uh, congratulations to Anton Avd, who uh, who still you know had started to get in the way and stuff. And you know, in the end, um, that was a game. So congrats to him. Thank you, Calcium, for joining us on comms. Glorious to have you back. It You're team welcome. fantastic. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic <laughs>